I'm Amy Cho. When you start breaking 100, 90, 80, you start to realize that you need to hit your driver straighter and keep it in play. So today I'm going to show you the correct weight shift for the driver to help you hit more fairways. All right, we're gonna take a look at the seven iron first, since more golfers are more familiar with the weight shift with the irons. So with the seven iron, when you're hitting the golf ball, now you are shifting your weight all at once. You're loading up to the front leg and then you're going down below into the golf ball. You're making a divot in front of the golf ball, right? So now that steep angle is going to let you compress the golf ball beautifully so you gain more distance and accuracy. But if you do the same down below with the driver, now the ball is way high up on the tee if you go down below on it, you're going to pop it up kind of like this. Pop it up or slice it because the face is going to go into it way opened. So we can't have the same downswing as a seven iron. You have to make sure you kind of give it a little delay in the waist shift. So that way you can really bottom out the club head before the ball and go in an up low angle into the golf ball in an ascending angle. So how do we get that driver to start moving in an up low way? The answer is the hang back. I'm sure you've heard that word before, hanging back. So how do you get that, right? So as your hips are turning with the seven iron was more onto the left hand side, but with the driver as you're turning, you're just putting a little extra pressure in the front right of your foot as you're turning. So that helps you to hang back, which bottoms out the club before the ball. And then it catches the ball in a ascending angle. We want that because it takes away the backspin, lets the ball run more once it lands and also gets that club head releasing beautifully, hitting the ball with square face. So that's ideal. But when I start talking about the hang back, it's really hard to switch from going forward and hanging back. But I have a fantastic Amy Fi drill. Amy Fi means making golf simple, fun and effective. And I have a paintbrush drill you can do and it'll really help you visually. So let's go ahead and grab your towel like this on your right hand. So let's pretend like this arm is a paintbrush, okay? We're gonna dip the brush in the paint and we're going to do the weight shift for the seven iron first. So you take it back as you're turning, you're shifting and you're drawing, you're leaving a paint mark on the lowest part of the arc, which is just past the golf ball. So that's the proper weight shift for the seven iron. Now we understand the hang back. Let's try and get that paint mark to be right before the ball, right there. That's going to be the lowest part of the arc for the driver like this. See how I put pressure in the front of the back foot as I swing through that delays the weight shift and then you complete the weight shift after you hit the golf ball. If you understand that slightest difference between a seven iron weight shift versus the driver hang back, you should be able to hit that driver longer and straighter. And let's use that paintbrush drill sensation into this driver. That's the hang back we want. If you're able to go into it in an ascending angle, the ball really stays straight without much side spin on it. So try this drill out, the paintbrush drill, really get it in your head and your body. It's going to help you to hit more fairways.